Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here with Nightlight who I kept calling Eclipse last time because it's so hard to like accept that we have had to let go of his father but we are here with Nightlight who is going to be carrying on the legacy of the moon pack with the Nightlight moon pack as soon as he manages to find a mate and kind of settle down and discover what his talents will be in raising a family in Yellowstone. So let's see, on the finding a mate point, let's double check what he's at. He is almost at 300 experience. I think we need about 750. And we need to visit each of the areas that the wolves frequent in order to find a dispersal female that we can start a family with. And oh my goodness, Nightlight, I just love how fast he is. And isn't he just so awesome? This guy is definitely a wolf of the shadows. He really is. Oh, and in fact, speaking of being a wolf of the shadows, let's go ahead and let's make it dusk. So we're gonna make it dusk because that is probably the time that he would be able to hunt really well because he would blend in with those shadows. Oh, there we go. That's better. And it's so fun to be able to see him here and see how he still has like that air of wildness about him and the way that he's able to just like roam around. He's good at hunting, uh, even though he does not have a lot of strength. And the way that he's he's still being just a wild wolf of Yellowstone. And then looking at his brother Atlas, who's like sniffing around abandoned houses over at the Lost River. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. I love the contrast. I love that we're following both of their stories because you guys were really excited about that idea that we will be switching between Nightlight and between Atlas. And we will be hopefully giving both boys a fair chance at telling their own stories. In fact, you know what? Let's go back and let's hunt another elk really quickly because we want to try to get as many experience points as possible. And now that it is dusk, I think he would be able to hunt a little bit better. So, whoa, look at all those carcasses. Oh, there they are. We've snuck right up on them. All right, we're gonna do this. Let's see if we can find... Oh, some of the females have... Oh, there she goes. We know who we want. It's this female over here. All right, come here, Missy. Let's see if we can just grab onto her. Come on, get a good bite. There we go. Recover some stamina. And now the chase is back on. The chase between predator and prey. In fact, we could probably even just like stop and rest. Look, she stopped running. All right, and then dun 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 dun. All right, sorry, sorry, Miss Calc. It is the way of things. I think we do better. It doesn't seem to do too much damage to her when we like hold on to her. So I think we actually have better luck when we go ahead and just like rapidly bite. But poor Nightlight, he really does not have a lot of strength. I wonder if when he got attacked by that bear, like his jaw was kind of messed with a little bit. That can be a total death knell if you're a predator too. All right, keep going, keep going, you can get her. You can get her, she's almost tiring. All right, let's just wait a little bit and boom. I love how fast he is, it is just so awesome. Oh, and you know what? Even though it makes it a little bit harder to hunt, I would bet you he would be a really good protector of his cubs, or his cubs, I said it again, his puppies. All right, almost there, almost there. Come on, because he would be able to turn around really quickly and chase down any coyotes or chase down any of the hawks or stranger wolves. He'd be able to move really fast. Whereas in the past, some of our wolves have not been able to move fast enough. Like poor Luna, there were a few times with some coyotes that we saw it happening and we just couldn't catch up and it was so tragic. All right, good job, Nightlight. So he has covered another kill. That's fantastic. And let's see what his pack sets are up at. Another hundred. So let's go and hunt for, well, more, not hunt, but like go meet with the wolves. Oh, it's a bunny. Let's get the bunny. Sorry, little bunny. That didn't take much. We're full, but now we have a little bunny we can come back to. Helps with the experience points too. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. And he'll gain so much experience with his first litter too. And I really love that the experience points save per wolf now, instead of just per like save file. So that makes it much, much easier to look forward to being able to get lots of experience for him once he gets over into the creek and once he starts raising up his dens of puppies. So that way we can hopefully unlock maybe the albino pup. We can unlock the secret den, but we'll probably do it with mostly experience that he gains through actually raising up several litters. So this should be pretty interesting. All right, we're working our way up. Gonna go confront some of the other wolves. 
And I have a question for you guys, because I was thinking how much fun it is to alternate between Nightlight and Atlas's two stories and their different lives. And I was thinking, what about on the weekend, maybe Saturday or Sunday, we do a special super long episode where we do a day in Nightlight, Nightlight's life, and then we do a day in Atlas's life too. Ah, here we go, territory marker. And it would be like both of them, all in one episode, we would just kind of combine the two. So if you guys like that, let me know, because it would be more wolves, more wolf quests, more drama. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Hello? Oh, it's a specimen. A fine specimen. Visit the Specimen Ridge Pack Territory. All right, let's see. Um, I think we're, we're just going to be like, I'm waiting. You want to be boss, huh? Well, we made the first, <laughs> we made the first lunge there. I am boss, back off. All right, no, we're not going to take that. I just think that Nightlight would really try to stand his ground. And then if things really started turning around, he would run for it. Yeah, we're not the strongest. Man, these two, it's like two male wolves locked in combat. I really think Nightlight's a little bit more aggressive that way. Oh boy. He didn't get a good bite in. No way. Okay, there we go. That's right. You better give in. Leave now. And it seems really mean. It's just, I think Nightlight would definitely be the kind of guy where he is going to defend territory and he's going to try to carve out the biggest swath of territory he possibly can snag. All right, and so what did that give us? It gave us a little bit. It doesn't give you a lot. It does not give you a lot. And now we're a little bit weakened from the fight. So let's work our way down to the food that we see down there. And we'll just kind of follow. We'll just kind of follow the winds and see where Nightlight's going to go today. So, oop, 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 a coyote, coyote. Yep, Nightlight's kind of tough. He's, he's a little bit over eager when it comes to, man, six bites to take down a coyote? He, maybe that's what it is. He's, you know, you know those guys who tend to be like really rough and tough and mean, even though uh, they don't need to be. And it's like, cause they're hiding their own weakness. All right, let's go this way. Cause that's where all the food is. That might be kind of what Nightlight is like. He knows he's a little bit weaker. So he acts really, really tough to cover it up. But I imagine with his own family, he would be pretty good at protecting his pups and, you know, not like aggressive towards them. All right, let's go eat that little hair because it's kind of just hanging out over here. A little bite of food to restore some of our energy. Oh, another coyote. He's trying to eat our hair. Do you see this? Do you see this? You little brat trying to eat our hair. We're going to get you in just a second. Don't you be mistaken. Oh, now he's trying to eat our elk. Rude. This is why Nightlight believes in defending your territory to the utmost. All right, get out of here. Get out of here, buddy. There we go. All right, we're gonna come back over. This is our elk to eat, thank you very much. And much better. All right, so that's actually really helping to run into all those coyotes too. Pack stats. Because now we're at 485, so that's not too bad. All right. So you know what, let's work our way up to the dead tree and then bounce over to the grassy plains just to see if we can interact with each of the wolves from the different areas. Because the sooner Nightlight can have a mate and a family, the better. Because I think, like I said, the majority of the experience we're gonna gain with him is actually going to be, oh, another coyote. Come here, you. Oh, now it's raining? Nope, we're not putting up with coyotes. Nightlight is not like that. He does not put up with us. Oh, it's very pretty when it rains. Oh, that's fine. Did you see that lightning strike like right in front of us? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a little alarming. But yeah, I think that Nightlight would definitely be one of those wolves who is going to gain more experience, practical experience with raising pups. So we won't stick around here and just like kill a bunch of elk just to try to grind the experience. We'll go on and we'll have them have a family. I don't know how many litters he'll have. But it's always so fascinating to see like how each litter is different, especially because you don't know how many boys and how many girls you might end up with. And it's just so exciting to watch them grow. Oh, Nightlight, look at you. I wonder, I wonder which one, like which territory he's gonna pull a mate from. Because last time we definitely ended up with a mate from the grasslands and that was Twilight. And I wonder if this time we should go with a mate from the Vista or from the mountains. What do you guys think? Where do you think we should we should find a mate? I think we'll look for one. Oh, another coyote! It's not gonna. It's not gonna. You're you're too slow. You're too slow. Nightlight's too fast. You're not getting away, buddy. It's not happening. Nope, not happening. You could be a future potential threat. We're taking you out. All right, where are we doing? 
doing 500. Not bad, not bad. And we're about to poke into the other wolves' territory. So let's rest for just a second. That's right. And then we're going to rush on in. And now we're hunting for scent. Oh, 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 territory marker. Territory marker. <gasps> right away. No way. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Oh, it's a female. She's really dark, too. Hi. How are you? Jack of all territories. Visit all three stranger wolf territories. Totally did it. Um... Wow, that almost looks like Twilight. They almost look identical. I want to be boss. What? Really? No, I want to be boss. He's not going to take anything even from another female. But she is a female because she's not dispersal. That means she's a female of this territory. So she would not be good. Let's see. She would not be good to try to mate with. Because she's already considered a member of the packs around here. Okay, we might have to give in. Because she's really tough. Oh my gosh. Okay, just one more attempt to like crawl her in. Oh my gosh, I was really worried that we were going to like have to scatter because <laughs> she was really strong. So that's something to think about. I think the Vista Wolf uh, gave in the soonest out of all of the wolves. Now we need food, so let's go up here. What? Something's on fire? A tree is on fire! Oh my goodness, that was some really dramatic lightning in the middle of the wolf fight there too. That was kind of interesting. Now we're going to have to limp over to this food and hopefully we'll have enough before running into another wolf. Oh no you don't. Rude coyote. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Trying to steal the food just as we're- what? Sneaky thing using a sagebrush as your defense. Alright, gotcha. And gotcha. Alright, woo! Something's still on fire. I can hear it. Wow! That view's amazing. That's a beautiful view. Alright, we're gonna come right up here. There's apparently food over this way, which we need, so we're gonna follow our nose. Alright, where's the food? But I think, hopefully, he can find a female pretty soon. I think he definitely might find a mate before his brother does. <laughs> but which area should he have a mate from? Oh, a hare! He's like, I want it! Well, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Man, it's fast. It's gone. Wow. Those rabbits. Now, those, these grassy plains rabbits, they know how to escape from oncoming predators. Because <laughs> they just blended perfectly in with this grass and just took off. Oh, it's so pretty up here. And there's food. Wow. Like, I guess she just died of old age. She's practically untouched. This is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and fill up. There we go. A little bit more. Wow, and look at this view, you guys. That is pretty darn fantastic. It really is. Oh, it makes me miss the mountains. Goosebumps. All right, come on, Nightlight. So Nightlight has now confronted the wolves in each territory. And we might have to look around. I wonder if we have some achievements we can snag from being here. So get a mate, get re get rejected by a potential mate, the ranch bandit, um, survival of the pack, that was a squeaker, then there was one, actions, what smells, kill one bull elk. I don't know if that's going to happen with Nightlight. He's very weak and I feel like we need a super strong wolf in order to do that. I wonder if we should look for a super strong mate. So maybe one of the grasslands wolves after all as a dispersal female for him? Because they seemed really strong when we were fighting up against them. Um, we got the bad parent achievement. So sad because our puppies died of hunger with Eclipse last time. Um, let's see. Teamwork. Strength in numbers. Those are multiplayers. Wow, we're on our way to Coyote Exterminator, which is going to be kill 100 coyotes. Um, let's see. Pup Rescuer. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Big Bad Wolf, Stranger Wolf Encounter. Win 50 encounters with a Stranger Wolf. Okay, and then you want to earn 15,000 experience points to unlock the white puppy, which is the little albino puppy. Or I guess it's just a white puppy, not an albino. All right, and then any places over here. Oh, Fossil Forest, there we go. Fossil Forest, the burn. Human traces on Amethyst Mountain. So there, lose something, find the boot on Amethyst Mountain. 
and find the campfire on Amethyst Mountain. So there's a few things that we will definitely be working on with Nightlight as well. But I think we're very close to the fossil forest. So let's just run along the ridge. In fact, I think the campfire and the boot might be like down below a little bit. Maybe by the tree? We'll come over to the tree and we'll check it out. We'll see what's over here. There you go. There you go, Nightlight. I'm really excited to see where his story is going to take us, you guys. Alright, I thought I remembered seeing like a campfire or a boot somewhere in this area. But half of the fun of those kinds of achievements are stumbling on the places again. Alright, so fossilized forest. Fossil forest is going to be up this way. And there's something over there. I think it's just a rock though. Well, we're going to investigate. He may be a lot faster and a lot uh, sneakier than his brother Atlas, but I think that Nightlight is just as curious. Curiosity is definitely one of those forces that helps to shape what the animals are like. Is that some food in the distance? There's a lot of food in the distance over here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is... Oh, coyote! Just a boulder. Let's get this coyote. Trying to sneak around here. Still all the elk that we need to eat. All these sagebrush piles of sagebrush. Why? There we go. All right, well, we will work our way up to the fossil forest next time, look for the human traces, and also start poking around and seeing if we find a dispersal female that just really clicks well with nightlight. So hopefully, like, he'll get a little bit more hunting in. We probably need to do a little bit more hunting, get our experience up just a bit more before he's able to get a mate, and also to be able to prove that, hey, he's totally worth like being a mate with because he'll he'll gain lots of experience he's a good hunter and we do that through hunting a lot of the elk so let's see yeah we'll probably visit the, the fossil forest and the vista next and we'll have to see where nightlight's story takes him from there because i have a feeling he is just a young wolf ready to start a family not a lot of exploring not a lot of adventuring the way his brother atlas is is off exploring but it's going to be fun to see atlas next time because we're going to be back in the lost river and whoo and there's a bear! Your nemesis! The arch nemesis! Take this bear! You didn't even land a blow! Take that! It looks like I did nothing. Take that bear! Alright, and then... Not even land in a blow. So if we, we tackle him... Nightlight's arch nemesis! Take this! We chased him away! That's right, get out of here! Get out of here! Bite in the rump! Bite in the rump! All right, we did it! That was so cool! All right, did that give us enough experience? Oh my gosh, look at that! It just shot us up on experience! That was fantastic! So clearly he is a fantastic potential mate to any future uh, future dispersal females because he knows how to chase off that grizzly bear. Look at it run into the distance, just like that. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. We'll be popping back over to see how Atlas is enjoying exploring the Lost River, and then we'll be coming back to see if Nightlight is able to impress a female and start his family because I think he's just a practical wolf who's ready to get down to the practicalities of life and raising a family. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.